Greetings and salutations, viewers. It is I, Cybertron X, coming to you with a new Transformers review. And I'm going to be doing it on a G1 figure that was partly uh, given to me, donated by uh, a good friend. Uh, you probably saw the unboxing video before BotCon. Um, so, uh, Sammy, thank you. I'm going to be doing it on G1 Skullcruncher. Uh, this is actually going to be a unique video, uh, something I haven't done in a while. It's actually going to be a rather long video. Hopefully not ten minutes, maybe nine. Uh, so I'm going to give a little bit of the backstory here. Uh, Skull Cruncher is one of the Decepticon Headmasters. And uh, the, the Headmasters came around in Season 3, towards the end. It was the three-part rebirth, I believe. Um... This is when uh, the Decepticons had kidnapped uh, some of the Autobots, and they found out that the uh, remaining Autobots at the uh, on the other side uh, teamed up with the Nebulons to create Headmasters, which is they removed their heads, and the Nebulons created a battle armor and would link with them to so, so, uh, supposedly improve things with them. This is kind of hokey and kind of weird, but. The Decepticons realized, hey, we can do that as too well, but instead of using uh, the uh, regular robots that turned into vehicles, um, they they used the Beast Formers, the ones that would transform into animals, and said, hey, use their heads. Now, the auto, uh, Decepticons also had two triple-changing headmasters, which I would love to get a hold of one. I don't remember their name. I think one of them was Eight Face. But this is Skull Cruncher. Um, very nice. Uh, Skull Cruncher was one of the beasts, and he got the Nebulon Headmaster. Now, where's the Headmaster? This is 99% complete. All I need is a gun, and I would have it complete. And I do want to get a rub symbol to go right there. Um, other than that, I have no complaints. This thing is it's beautiful. I bought repo labels and put the repo labels on it. And it just, I love it. Um, where's the Nebulon? It's in his mouth. This is supposed to be a crocodile. And his Nebulon, in beast mode, rides in his mouth. So before you transform him, you want to take his Nebulon out. We'll set him down and show you the Nebulon. Here's the Nebulon. I can't remember his name. I was told last night. I just can't remember it. So, his name today is Barry. This is Barry. Barry is Skullcruncher's headmaster. Now, thinking last night, I thought, you know, headmasters, target masters, and power masters is what led to mini cons. Think about that. Now, to transform his head, very simple, you know, you have, he's got very limited articulation, so you fold down the arms, fold down the legs, and there's this little panel here in the front, you fold that up, and you get the head. So set the head aside, and let's go with Transforming Skull Cruncher. First you want to do is remove the tail, which becomes a, a sword type weapon. Um, open this piece in the back up. Fold these down and fold around to the front. These are his legs. Here are the alligator uh, crocodile arms. Fold that back. These are a little loose, but you know I can't complain. This is a, this is a great toy. This is a really great toy. And there you have his arms. Pretty decent articulations for G1. He's actually got elbow and wrist articulation. Fold back the head, and there you have the robot body. Now, I know everybody wants to see this because it's the greatest gimmick for a headmaster. You fold down this little chest piece, and then you have speed, strength, and intelligence right there. And you plug in the headmaster, and there you go. That's one of the greatest things about the headmasters is these little things. And there you go here is in robot mode. Give him his little sword weapon. Um, I would love to be able to find a gun for this guy. 
is it just I think would just make it even that much better. So really nice figure, really wonderful. Uh, he's his main color scheme is greens, grays, and purplish pink. He's a Decepticon. He can get away with that. But as you can see, the Headmaster does connect, and supposedly with the Headmasters having the human brain inside of a robot increases their ability to fight. I never really understood that, but hey, I love the idea of, boom, there's a Headmaster. Now, here's the thing. This is the only Headmaster I own. I would love to get more. Let me see if I can get this guy in a little bit better. Into a function on the camera. And there he is. Really nice. Really nice detail. Um, let me show you the gimmick again of the chest piece. Pop that out. And there's that. So there he is. He's really nice. Um, G1s, for all the intents and purposes, are really good figures. Really wonderful figures. I mean... If it wasn't for G1, we wouldn't have the Transformers we do today. Um, so, I would like to thank Skullgrin, Sammy, for this figure. It's a wonderful figure. I appreciate it immensely. Um, so, Skull Cruncher is full naked bacon. Later, people. <laughs>